What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing the Fighter's Guild, as hard as it may be to believe with this starting location. The reason I have returned to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary is so that we can do two things. The first is talk to Arquen and get some gold. So, the Night Mother has spoken. I will make sure this information reaches the appropriate family What in the members. world? Oh. Ah, yes. My headphones aren't Here even plugged are in. <laughs> I will see you next week, most honorable listener. Uh, turn this around, turn that down. Sorry about this, I, uh, hmm. Started LPing and uh, my headphones weren't plugged in, but my microphone was. Okay. Alright, well, so did she give us the gold? I think she did. I thought I heard Under the gold your sound. Leadership, the black will reign eternal. You know it. Hey, dude. Dude. Listener, I am a new initiate to the Dark Brotherhood, just a lowly murderer. But if there's any way I can serve you, any way at all, I'm yours. Suck my... Um... Yeah, travel with me. Yes, most revered listener. My bow is yours. Uh... Actually, yes. no. Uh... Stay here. Of course, listener. See you later, dude. Nathan. May the night, mother. I always watch over you, great listener. Actually, let's go out the well. We're going to head, let's see, we're already in Shaden Hall, aren't we? Uh, I don't know if we've spoken to Urzgrabrokosh yet. But let's go meet him, see if he's got any more work for us. Well, really no trouble at all. Oh, I'd love to speak with you. You're the first nice person I've met this entire LP. Blessings of the Nine. I'm Otessa the Healer. By the grace of Mara. Oh, you're Jehovah's Witness. <sighs> Well, actually, probably more. Oh, okay, just just shut up, dude. Just shut up. Seriously? Ugh. Of course, is that a bad stereotype to follow, that religious people are friendly? Is that a harmful stereotype? I don't think so. Or at least particularly the ones that ride around on bicycles or go door to door. One way or the other. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Where are you? Hey, why does he have fur armor? That's like low-tier armor. You should have better armor than that. Good day. He's got a glass mace. I mean, come on. Got some stuff for me? Nothing now. Oh, Azan. Okay. I suppose Good we already course. did your quest. You know what? Let's see what's on the balcony. I don't know if we've ever been out here. Let's see. What? Is it, is it nice? Well, it's rather small. There's nowhere to sit. What if I can get on the roof? Do I have the boots of... I don't. Let's put them on. Uh... Hello. Careful now. Yeah, look at that, I'm on the roof, mostly. No, I'm actually sliding off. But if there's a lower, yeah, there we go, I can get up. Cool. I'm on the roof of the Fighters Guild. This is so much fun. Breaking out like this is so much harder in, in Oblivion than it was in Morrowind. In Morrowind, there was levitation. Yeah, there was a video back when we were doing the Boethia quest, and I said, yeah, there was actually telekinesis in Morrowind. I didn't mean telekinesis, I meant levitation. Because, uh... Essentially, yeah, they were levitation spells. It was a certain number of points was how fast you could move through the air. And then it had a duration. And so if you were really good at enchanting, or if you hacked in the, the, the system using your console commands or whatever on the PC, then you could actually give yourself a scroll that was like 500 points of le levitation for so many seconds, and you would essentially fly through the air like a jet. And you just zip wherever you needed to go really quickly, and it was so much fun just to play around like that. That's actually how I beat the game the last time I played through it. I was just screwing around having fun. <coughs> yeah, but in this game, it's a lot harder to break out of, of the game like that. Uh, you can use the paint the paintbrush glitch to jump over walls. And you can do uh, a few other things as well. I'll probably leave those two power leveling and, and other... Well, you know, I might I might remake those as well. Because right now there's five videos in the main quest series. The first three are me breaking out of the sewers. And the two after that are power leveling and glitches. But uh, I would probably be better served to remake those videos. Wouldn't be a whole lot of work either. It'd be good to... I certainly want to make the remake the whole main quest bit. But those two glitches and power leveling, maybe I'll just leave those the way they are. I don't know. Let, let me know if you think what you guys think. Those videos came out months and months ago. So if you think that they're still relevant, I'll, I'll leave them up. And if you don't... I'll make a, a new version of them, but it'll basically be the same material. I don't really have anything new to add. I, 
I showed the paintbrush thing, I showed duplicating. Uh, I don't know if we ever showed Dorian Gold Glitch. How about mixing I think up I may have, I don't know. Where are you, Azan? Wake up! Hell to the Isles wants to say hi. A pleasure to speak with you. It is nice to speak with you. Contract? Good to see you looking for more work. There's certainly more to be done. I need you to help Alante of Alinor. How? Alante is a scholar interested in researching deity worship. Meet her in Brittle Rock Cave. Help her find the shrine and keep her safe. Can do. Go protect Alante. She's doing, She's doing important doing research. research. I see. So we have to go and escort this person through a cave, huh? Is this one of those quests where they're scripted to die? Like, right at the beginning, and then I have to go back and tell them? And go fight the Blackwood Company over it or something? I don't know. Okay, well... I guess Fort Such is our closest point. I haven't found Fort Such? What? Oh. What? What is Fort Such? Why is that marked there? Do I have a quest that... Maybe that's... I think that actually is a... Let's see... Uh, maybe not. I think it might be an expansion pack, I'm not sure. Anyway, I guess we'll just go from the Burn Cross then. Oh, don't go out tonight. It's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. This scenery looks familiar. I think we might actually be near the location of the Master Trainer. Hello. Get out of my face! Alright, let's use our block ability. Trying to actually play this like it's a real game, huh? Sort of get too used to being... Oh, over. hello. Come on, one more. Oh, finish him off. That's how you fight right there. Of course, these bandits aren't particularly dangerous, are they? Bodian camp. Hello. Whoa. Get out of here, you. Whoa, I'm, I have some slowdown and lag. That's really... Well, not lag since I'm on the internet, but... Man, this is... Gotcha. Nothing to take. Something red here. Oh, ginseng. Flax. What is this? There's a little camp here. There's a chest bag there. What, what have you guys got? Gold. Tankards. Okay. Nothing too exciting here. Um. Hmm. Okay. I guess we'll just uh, keep on the moving on our way to that bitter rock cave. Or was it brittle rock? I don't remember. <laughs> you want pregame? Brittle rock cave? Where? I think we're pretty close actually. It should be right in front of us here. It might be it right there in that that rock. It's sort of a rock face right there, I guess. It's really strange that, that there would actually be a huge rock sticking out of the ground in the middle of this open field sort of biome, but whatever, we'll go with it. Those born on the side of the steed can move faster. Yeah, playing with the steed and getting up to hundreds, hundreds of speed by level 2 or 3 is really fun. <laughs> Let me tell you, one of the reasons I like playing as a dark elf. Alright, let's get a little bit uh, creative here. We may want to paralyze anything that comes after her. I got some arrows, and I've got my sword. So we should be doing alright here. I got a couple of potions, because I drink a few potions. And I'm going to keep my spell as uh, Heal Other, because we've got that that scroll, and that'll help keep her alive. I'm going to save. Oh yes, how do you do? I'm quite fine, how are you? Ah, you must be from the Fighters Guild. Excellent! I'm looking forward to our investigation. Fascinating subject, these Deidre. Okay. I'm just... Like, so I'm supposed to guard you, right? I am Alante of Alanor. That's not what I asked. So there's a shrine in here? My research shows there is likely a shrine in these caves. I'll need you to accompany me to the shrine. Handle any difficulties. Why do I feel like you're gonna get me killed? Heard any good rumors lately? It's said that eating taproot can bring you good luck. It's true, it fortifies your luck. Stay close, please. Okay, so now I just follow you, huh? Got my staff ready. If I sneak, uh, she won't sneak, so we'll be detected by anything that's in here. 
Can you guys see? What's my video settings? Yeah, they're at the very brightest. We look at the we look at the for capture card here and see if you guys can see this. Oh no, it's actually a bit dark. Do I have any torches? Let's see here. I do. Put my staff away. There we go. Now we can see. Of course I'm not being stealthy at all. Maybe I should move ahead of her a little bit, sort of lead the way. Hello! That's a day drop. Where's my gold brand? Yeah! Daedroth aren't particularly dangerous, but they are a little bit scary if you run into one and you're not expecting them to be there. They do a bit of damage too, and they can they can stagger you quite a bit with their claws and their jaws. Why does he turn white on the chin? Has some kind of resist damage or something? I'm not sure. But you can get Daedroth teeth from them, which are very light and very expensive. Good to pick up. Let's see if I can actually do the mini lock mini game instead of just breaking in all the time. It's not like I'm gonna lose the pick. Okay. You coming now? Got to come back and get her? Okay. I guess I was too far away from her. Well, I suppose if she stops when I get too far away, I could go ahead and explore the rest of the cave and clear the way for her. Which one of these do you want to go down? Hello! Oh, don't get killed now. Here. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is not going to go well for her. There we go. <laughs> Maybe she'll help me out. Slice and dice! Oh, wow, is that a frost spell she hit him with? Staggered him. I want to turn him so he faces me. You don't get her killed. Wow, kicking his ass. Good work. Hey, come here, you. There we go. Keep you alive. Put that torch away. Oh, she senses another one up ahead, I suppose. Something. No? Okay. Oh, maybe that's her putting her sword away. What's in here? Summon skeleton archer. No oh, thanks. Huh, what's this? Door? Is this it? This isn't particularly exciting. It's like a dead end to me. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> I guess she doesn't really know exactly where the shrine's gonna be. We're just gonna have to look for it. Well, it's fine with me. I'm gonna zip back up this hallway here. Is she still following me? Did she stop? Compass marker's not moving. Yeah, she's waiting for me to get closer to her. What can I do for you? Um. Yes, let. Okay. Stay close, please. I am close. Please. Yes, there you go. <laughs> I was like, are you gonna move? Uh. I'd like to explore the rest of the cave now. If that's okay with you. Come on, I'm ready to go. Move. Where did your hair go? What the hell? Whoa! She's bald! Hello! Holy crap! Um. I can't believe we found a Zivoli here. That. I didn't know I was at a high enough level for these guys to even spawn. Don't bother with a whole lot of magic on these guys, because they're going to generally ab absorb magicka. Turn it into their own. But wow, you get a danger heart whenever you kill one of these guys. That's... Whew, and they usually have really big, expensive warhammers. Look at the glowing runes on the body. Isn't that really cool? Put my sword away. I don't know where he came from. Must have gone past these other guys. Alright, let's look ahead a little bit here. It might be a hard advantage to... Here we go. Be a, just a little bit sneaky. Do I have any of those arrows of emulation left? I do. Let's use one. Hee <laughs> hee. That's a good start. <laughs> Switch over to the staff of paralysis. Did he just heal himself? Jerk. Alright, let's get in there. <laughs> oh crap. Multiple enemies. Oh shit. This is not gonna go well for me. Um Oh, wow. Uh, okay, what have I got that has effects in area? Anything? Where's... Flare? I can't... Uh, okay, um... Ten seconds on target. Weak fireball. Twenty-five... Oh, well, fifteen points within a few feet. 
but at least we'll hit everybody over there. Okay, this is not gonna really get it done, is it? Staff might help. If I can stun that big guy again, maybe they'll all trip over him some more. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that fireball? Makes me wish I had a better spell available. Oh, he summoned that clan fear. That sucks. Now I'm fighting a summoned enemy. Ah, oh, gosh. This isn't going to go easily, is it? Um, hello. Potion of illness. Let's get help. Let's use one. Actually, let's hotkey them. <laughs> yes, I do want to poison this old brand. Yes, I do want to poison the gold brand again. Yes, I do want to poison the gold brand again. <laughs> this isn't cheating. You crazy. Alright, um... Fireball! Get out of my face. Oh, I thought I just killed him. Hello, I'm taking a lot of hits. I can't even see. It's really dark. I can't even tell what I'm doing right now. Um, Potion of healing. Yay! Take a couple more of those, huh? Alright, where are we here? I can see. Okay, there's one. Now I gotta kill the Zeevoli and his clan fear will die as well. Try this again, huh? Would you just chill, please? Alright, um... I got one more use of this staff here. I'm amazed I'm winning this. Oh, he friggin' absorbed it. That sucks. Hello, what? Go down! Wow, that was rough. She didn't die, did she? I think I might have left her behind, and it's probably a good thing. She would have got her ass kicked if she'd been in here. Alright. Dirty men Olympic, some gold. Huge! Ooh, Retribution of Hubris. Let's see what that does. Damage willpower. Meh. One point. That's a waste. Daedra Heart. Huge Adlax. Alright. Let's uh, try not to die. There's that healing spell. Put that one back on the, t on the top again, shall we? Keep looking here. Okay, that's a Storm Matronac. I don't think we've fought any of these enemies before. It's funny that our first experience with... Oh! Oh, dang the first experience with many of these enemies is outside of Oblivion. And normally these creatures are home. Take their homes in Oblivion. Okay, you're not gonna go down easily, are you? What a little poison. Ah, he's, he's immune, I can tell. Yeah, damage, health, effect, resisted. Okay, we'll check out. He's gonna resist shock as well, but I'm gonna try to try a spell on him. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Just continue doing damage. You really just gotta lay it down on these Atronax. They got a lot of health. They take a lot of punishment. There's no knockdown on Atronax. <laughs> Unless you're really kicking some ass. Did I just absorb something? Hmm. Hello. And you get some void salts. That's fun. Anything else going on here? Potion of sorcery. Gotta wonder where this shrine is gonna be. I know that we've left uh, Eleanor, or whatever her name was, behind now. That's okay. Hello. These, here's another one. Spider Daedra. These guys can cast spells of their own. That makes them th pretty dangerous. Oh crap, there's a few of them. I wish I could... You know, if I took out my... If I took off my shield, I could have the torch out at the same time. There we go. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. Third person. Oh. There we go. Spells are pretty... Ah, they paralyzed me. That's bad. Come on, dude, get up. Uh, it's almost over. The little ones, they've got poison, I think, that'll do that. And the big ones have a lot of spells at their disposal, so... Watch out! Oh, don't want to kill yourself. Come on now. You know that isn't fair. You can get Silk, Daedra Silk, and Daedra Venom from them, two of them. Ah, crap, I was hoping to get behind the pillar before she hit me with that. Hey, where are you running off to, lady? Get over here. Let's do this. I'm gonna poison the gold brand on you. You tell the poison effect is working if you see that green tinge here on the enemy. 
Ah, oh, I absorbed your spell, and then you paralyzed me again. That blows. Maybe I can finish her off. Oh. This is in. Hello. Yeah, I got her. Awesome. Those guys are no, well, those girls rather are fairly dangerous. They're not. They're not as bad as the uh, clan fear and the Zevoli, though. What else is there going on? Nothing back here. Okay, I think that that last room was the shrine, so we should go back and get that lady to follow us in here so we can finish the quest up, huh? Busted up shrine. Big statue with a table. Not a whole lot going on here besides Daedra. Not really sure where they all came from. Unless someone summoned them and then got killed by them. Which I could totally see happening. Daedra are not exactly friendly, even to those who summon them. Sort of like, uh, if any of you have read the uh, Bartimaeus trilogy, uh, it sort of, it goes the Amulus, Samarkand, the Golems, I, uh, oh no, the, uh, something like that. Yeah, but the first one is the Amulet of Samarkand, which is, I think, was the best of the three. And it's an interesting concept where magicians in, the, in this uh, universe draw all their power from summoning. Essentially, they don't have any magical abilities of their own, and the only things that they are able to do is summon uh, Dijini from, er, and other creatures from the nether realm, essentially. And then once the, they summon them, they can use these certain pentacles and, and forcible symbols, herbs and tins and things to, to coerce the demon that they've summoned into doing their bidding. But if the magician screws up, doesn't properly protect himself, doesn't do the canticle right, uh, if, you know, F something up in, in his magic, he's gonna get his ass killed. Because the demons are not at all friendly. Uh, they don't really like being in the physical realm. They get kind of pissed off when you summon them. And they will kick your ass if you give them the first chance. And I get the feeling that's what happened in this Daedric Shrine. Because if you summon this many Daedra at once, something is going to go wrong. And it looks like whoever was here to summon these is, is not here anymore. There's some skeletons Excellent. in that back room, too. A fine example of a Daedric Shrine. Sorry for the trouble getting here. Let's keep moving. Wait, what? Keep moving. Where to? Excuse me, what? No, stop. That's... Don't. Where are you going? Don't go this way. I haven't cleared this one yet. What? More? I think I'll study this shrine a bit longer. You can make your way out here. I thank you again for your help. Please, take this as a token of my thanks. Oh. Okay. Thanks again. 2920 Morning Star Volume 1. I wonder what that's going to teach me. It's got to be a skill book. Or they wouldn't have bothered dropping it on us. Your blade skill increase? Hello! What just happened? The cuts and nicks from long practice sessions with all manner of blades has its benefits. You are now an expert with blade weapons. Your sweeping power attack now has a chance to knock down your opponent. Press and hold the attack button while moving backward to use this power attack. Huh. Cool. Birth book's worth 100 gold, too. Alright, so now we just zip on out of here and return to Azan to finish off this quest. It smells like chocolate. My dorm room smells like chocolate. I have no idea where it's coming from. I really feel like my roommate dropped some chocolate under the couch and didn't bother to pick it up. <laughs> because that's something he would totally do. <laughs> he is a slob. The room... Even e he estimates on his on a scale of one to ten that his cleanliness is about a three. I would put it lower than that. There sometimes are banana peels on the couch when I come home from class. Hello, Zan. How are you doing? Well met. Uh, contract. You finished excellent. Good work, guildmate. Thank you. Here's your payment for the contract. Alternatively, you could just kill her Good and you. come back to tell Zan that you failed. You'll finish the contract much more quickly, but you won't get your reward. So if you just want to get through the guild quickly, you can do that. A pleasure. Got any more work for me? I bet you don't. I don't have anything for anyone in your rank. Ch whoa, whoa, whoa. Advancement? You've been doing a good job, and under a lot of scrutiny. I've been authorized to promote you to the rank of Guardian. Good work. What up? Awesome. Got any more work for me now? I understand Orain is looking for you again. Get to Coral and speak with the man. All right, I didn't know. Jeez, I haven't even left the room, man. Quest added. Trolls of Forsaken Mine. 
Oh god. So it looks like in the next YouTube video, we're going to be taking on the trolls. How appropriate. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.